episode today. I'll talk about the process that I use when I'm trying to set up a self-portrait session. I really use the same methodology for all portrait sessions and then do a little behind the scenes and take you through all the steps with me as I prepare and then go shoot this self-portrait session. And those steps are usually in the same chronological order in their location, lighting, outfit, composition, pose, gear, and edit. That might sound like a lot of steps, but I feel like they break down pretty quickly and easily. So first one, location. I usually just do a Google search for the type of environment I'm looking for, whether that's like nature with trees or an urban environment with a stairwell or a nice lights in the background. I'll usually just use search terms and try to find a cool location. From there, with lighting, um, as most of you probably know, the two best times to shoot is usually early morning and late afternoon. It's already like 3 p.m. today, so I'm gonna aim for late afternoon, do some golden hour shots. Um, after that, with outfit, um, the thing I most try to think about is whether the outfit colors complement the environment colors. And then the other thing is if the outfit complements an urban environment or a nature environment, or whatever location you're shooting at. Uh, the next thing for composition, I'll usually like do a Google search or an Instagram search for the location, see what angles people have used previously that look good, so I can like have an idea of some inspiration for when I get on location and I don't have to just walk around aimlessly trying to find a nice shot. Um, then after that pose, I usually will look at the location. Like I've already come to this point with these thoughts in my head. So by that point, I usually have a good idea of how I want to pose my own body or someone else's if I'm shooting with another model um, based off of the location. So for example, this location, it's a stairwell. I usually like to try to capture movement if there's a stairwell. Um, and uh, it's on a little bit of a slant so I could do some like shots walking up and down. Um, but things like that generally help me guide my thinking towards what pose I wanna use. You can also definitely do some search term searches and see what other uh, poses have been used there previously, give you an idea of what you could try out. Um, and then gear, I actually don't think about this too much because I've been almost exclu exclusively shooting on 35 millimeter, um, but I do have other lenses, 50 millimeter, 85. So I guess a lot of it depends on the style that you want to create. I've been more shooting wide angle because I like to get more of the background in, but this is just another style choice. If you have a more telephoto lens, you get better compression um, and background separation. Uh, with wide angle lenses, you can usually get more of the background in easier. So. Those are usually the considerations I make when I'm thinking about what gear I want to use. Um, but I also have kind of shrunk down the gear I use to one body and one lens, so it's I don't think about it that much anymore. And then finally, the edit. I usually look at the color palette um, and all the other things, the lighting, the outfit, the pose I'm going to use. And that generally gives me a good idea of how I want to edit the photo and highlight certain color combinations. Maybe I have a feeling like I'm going to be creating a like wanderlust. Oh, I'm traveling and looking around at this new place. And that'll, if that's the feeling and story I wanna to try to convey through the pose, the lighting, the location, the outfit, the gear, then that will definitely give me a good idea even before I've left my house how I'm going to edit it once I have the shots. Um, but again, that's just my methodology. I'm definitely a planner when it comes to photo shoots. I like to plan a lot beforehand. I don't really like showing up randomly to places because uh, it gives me a lot of anxiety. I have gotten some good shots out of random walk around photo shoots. And when I first started, it's pretty much all I did. I think that helped me learn because I didn't really have a lot of base knowledge. Um, but now that I've been shooting for almost two years now, I generally like to know beforehand all the details so I can just kind of show up, get my shots, go home, feel good, be happy with the images, and there's no margin of error. <laughs> but 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about that process and then the next part of this video I'll just be walking you through or actually you'll just kind of be going with me through all of these steps so yeah here we have the location the Spanish steps which I will be going through later today all right guys next I'll just show a little screenshot of the gear that I'm using in the outfit that I'll be wearing and then I'll kill some more time until the time is right to go do this photo shoot Alright guys, my workout's done, so it's time to get a quick shower, and the lighting is looking good, so time to go get that photo. Alright guys, here we are, so let's set up the shot, get it, and uh, then go back and edit. What's up guys, we're here at the Spanish Steps and we just finished a photo shoot. Uh, my dad came along because he is also a photographer. Want to say hi to everyone? Hello. So he helped me get some shots and uh, great day. And uh, now we're going to go back and edit. See ya. What is up guys, we are back at the command center after a successful photo shoot portrait session. Um, hopefully this has been fun and informative and um, let me show you the before and after of the photos that I captured. So yeah, I hope this was enjoyable to watch. I'm gonna try and do a lot more of these in the future, even though they're a fair amount of work to put together and edit. I feel like it's more enjoyable not to just show photos or talk about um, taking photos, but really kind of go through the process with me. And uh, definitely an interesting time being quarantined and adapting to this slowly opening society. I'm still trying to adapt and figure out how I want to continue to create content and all this good stuff. I'm sure everyone else is doing the same. So hopefully this was a fun behind the scenes walkthrough process slash my steps for portraits. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one.